Very good morning to you, Vanessa. What's happening where you are? Yes, a very good morning to you. And uh, we sort of jumped the gun here in uh, Cape Town at the Fairmont uh, High School in Durbanville because the program is only set uh, to take off at about half past 12 this morning. Uh, we've taken this time, though, uh, to uh, schedule an interview with the headmaster of Fairmont High School, uh, Mr. Leonie Rasmus, as well as the chairperson of uh, the RCL, who will be speaking to us a bit about uh, the planned uh, event today, but also the reasons why they've decided uh, to embark on celebrating uh, June, celebrating not just Youth Month, but also Pride Month. So joining me is Headmaster Mr. Leonie Rasmus. Sir, very warm good morning to you. Um, at the onset, let me start out. There have in recent days this week been quite a bit of an uproar um, about a fellow school in this district uh, that is now being investigated by the Western Cape uh, Department of Education as well as the South African Human Rights Commission over the issue of uh, denying uh, allegations, denying the rights of learners to celebrate Celebrate Pride Month. You say that this event at the school had actually the plans that preceded this. Um, explain to us how the school then became involved in, uh, in today's event. Vanessa, thank you, and thank you for giving us the opportunity. <clears throat> I just want to add uh, that uh, we are, I'm extremely proud of uh, our learners, uh, our RCL in particular, and, and the learner executive. Yes, um, it, it has nothing to do with what happened uh, at, at to other schools. Uh, we've been planning this for a while. Uh, it's part of uh, Youth Month. It's part of uh, Gay Pride Month. Uh, it was uh, an initiative uh, by our, our, our RCL, and we've got a society called Impact, uh, and that w we are trying to include everyone in the school. We don't want anyone to be marginalized. Uh, we want uh, everyone to feel that they belong in the school, uh, and that's part of it. Um, so what we're doing uh, this afternoon is just to show those uh, learners that uh, you are part of us, um, that uh, you are protected, that you are safe, uh, you can express uh, uh, your identity the way you want to, uh, and that uh, we are here to protect you. Um, and and um, no one should feel that they are not part of the school. As, as a headmaster and as an educator, the issue of bullying, for example, is something that you would definitely be concerned about. And oftentimes, even in the greater society out there, we see that people are being bullied um, for their sexual orientation, etc. We listening. know that the issue of corrective rape, for example, is a huge scourge, gender-based violence. Um, so just talk to us a bit about uh, the importance of starting uh, this conversation, uh, starting uh, the, this, uh, the, the highlighting of these issue, issues within schools and within classrooms. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an uncomfortable uh, discussion, Vanessa, um, but it's something we have to have uh, because if uh, kids are not made aware of what is going on, uh, if they're not uh, made aware of what's happening to their friends in the classroom, uh, then we are t turning a blind eye to those, those kind of issues. And we are addressing it uh, in LO periods. Uh, we are discussing it in RCL sessions, uh, and that message then comes through to the rest of us. Uh, these are the areas that we have to address, and uh, we then find programs where we can address them. Mr. Rasmus, thank you so much. Of course, just giving us a bit uh, of the reasoning why the school itself has supported this RCL program. Uh, and uh, just a little later on, we will be seeing firsthand the events that will be taking place. You understand candles will be lit on the sports field, uh, as well as the hoisting of uh, the gay pride flag. Uh, but the RCL chairperson, Lao Molele, is going to speak to me very briefly as a matriculant student, uh, but also talking a bit about what she's experienced, what she's seen, uh, which prompted her then really to bring up this matter to the RCL. Uh, so very warm good morning to you. Um, let me just very briefly speak to you about this. Um, you say you've read the newspapers. Um, you are keenly aware of what is happening in not just South Africa, but in the world. Briefly, the importance then for RCLs, in this case, you've taken it to the RCL to commemorate uh, June month. It's youth month. And you said early on, um, youth face a myriad of challenges. Yes, um, I think that first of all, as the representative council of learners, it is very important that we represent all learners within our school. And so ignoring the LGBTQI a plus learners within our school would be us not doing our job, right? And yeah, there are so many issues around the world currently and it's particularly affecting the youth. And a certain part of the youth is the queer community, you know, the queer youth. And so I think that it's really important that we as Fairmont talk about this. We start these conversations, as my headmaster said, we start these conversations, we continue them. Because sometimes you don't know, as someone who's 
not particularly part of the community, what people you know or your friends are going through. And so by starting this conversation, we are letting people know what's going on and we are giving people a chance to actually be allies and to actually stand up for their friends. But furthermore, as a Fairmont RCL, we're letting our queer students know how much we love them and how much we support them. Is this initiative something that you would like to see happening and beyond just the, uh, the gates and the borders of the school, other schools in wider communities, uh, for example? What kind of activism work has been taking place over the while? Definitely. I definitely would love for it to expand over the northern suburbs, over the Western Cape, over the country. I think that it's important for all queer youth to feel seen. But more than that, something that we're doing with this month is we're also educating other people. So our RCL board, we have four weeks, obviously, and this week is Queer History Week. And so on our RCL board, we have the impact of the HIV AIDS epidemic on gay on the, on the gay community. And we have the Stonewall riots, which is why we celebrate Pride Month in June internationally. And so we want this to carry on throughout Fairmont over the next years to continue educating future students and to continue ensuring that gay students and all just the entire community of, of queer students within Fairmont feel welcome and feel supported. But more than that, we want all queer students and all queer youth, all queer people within South Africa and within the world to feel supported and to feel seen, but also for people to be able to educate themselves and become the allies that we know are so important important in every movement. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Of course, as you can see, the young people are taking it upon themselves as young people have over the past uh, generations, uh, highlighting issues affecting society. And in this instance, the issue of discrimination uh, against uh, people from the LGBTIQA plus community, hoping then, of course, uh, that this initiative will uh, skyrocket, take place in every, in every home, every school and every gathering of people uh, as uh, June month signifies not just Pride Month, but also Youth Month here in South Africa. People taking charge of their destiny. Thank you so much for that beautiful story.